Hello, welcome to Open Biblio Basics. This video is on the administration module. My name is Susan Mark. I am with the Wyoming State Library. Once you have your Open Biblio installed, you've logged in. There are a few tabs up there. In this particular session, we're going to talk about the administration tab. This is probably one of the first things you're going to want to go get into. So you click on that tab and you see you've got a lot of different functions over here. The first one you might look at is Staff Administrator. You automatically get an administrator you call the Root Administrator when you set this up. But let's say that I want to add another staff member and maybe give them different privileges. So let's call them Staff Person and their login and password is just going to be Staff. And I, I want them to be able to circulate materials and update people when they come in and have an update. But I haven't trained them on how to do the catalogs. I won't give them that. And I definitely don't want them in admin changing things around. But I do want them to run reports. I can hit Submit. And we have a new staff person with a new username and a new password. You can change the password. You can edit that person. You can delete that person. Now, if I log out, right now I'm logged in, logged in as the root administrator. If I log out and I want to log in again as the staff person, you can see I'm in the circulation module. That works fine. It's not going to let me into cataloging. It's not going to let me into admin it is going to let me into reports. So this gives you some control if you've got people that you want in different sections or want to give more access than others, you can do that. So let's log out again and log back in as the administrator so that we can look at the rest of these things. Library settings, this is kind of fun because this is where you will personalize everything that comes up on your screen you can change your library name. I'm going to call mine Hilltop Library. You can change the little logo that shows up here. I just put the picture that I wanted in the same folder that Open Biblio stores its images in. We're going to call it bluehill.jpg. My library hours maybe are not Monday to Saturday, Monday to Friday, and maybe we're open a little later. Got a different phone number. I would recommend leaving the OPAC URL. That's the page where your catalog will come up right where it is. Uh, there's a few other things you can change. But let's go ahead and update this. So you can see, you can, you can personalize this a little bit. Member types. You've got two that are a default that they do not let you delete. You must have adult and juvenile, even if, if in your institution you might never use juvenile. You can add a new member classification. For example, you might want to have a classification for staff and the maximum fines you allow. Maybe you want uh, to give them a little more leeway. So you can give them $10 worth of fines. So you can do that. Member fields, I have not figured out what that does. If you figure it out, let me know. Material types. And this will come pre-populated with a lot of things. Some of them they'll let you delete, some of them they won't. You have to keep book, you have to keep magazines. They're not going to let you add that. You know, but we can add a new material type if we want. Let's say that your library checks out games. And you can submit that. And you will see that games shows up here. So that's where you add the material types. Now where the member types and those sorts of things are going to really come into play is when you get down here to collections. Because here is where your collections, you can, as you can see, reference, you can't check it out, adult fiction, three weeks. If you've got a two-week period, you can change that to 14 days. You can you know, if you want to charge more fines, you can change that. And so that's really where you can set up when stuff is supposed to come back. 
how much you charge in, in terms of fees. If you don't have compact discs, you can delete that off of there. So there's all sorts of things that you can do there. So now let's go look at checkout privileges. And what it will do is all of your material types, it will give you something for your material type and your member classification. So you see you've got audio tapes, adult, juvenile, staff. Again, all of these will be listed separately. Let's say that for staff, I want them to be able to have up to 20 books. I can do that, and I want to let them renew it three times. Another classification, another material type. Let's say that for games, for kids, they lose a lot of them, so I'm only going to let them check out three, but I will let them renew them two times. This is going to give you a lot of control over uh, who can do what with your collection in terms of your uh, patrons. The last thing is themes, and this can allow you to personalize it a little bit more. Only a couple of them are readable. If you go to the dark wood and hit update, it's pretty hard to read, but there are a few if you want to go, go play. There is a way to edit these. It does require a little knowledge of, of HTML. Let's go back to the, to the mossy blue. I like that one best. So that, in a nutshell, are the administrative functions. And that does, again, allow you some customization, allows you some control over who can check out what, allows you some control over what kind of fines you charge, what kind of renewals. So that is going to be the first thing that you will want to go into when you start working with Open Biblio. Thank you.